Hey, how's it going? It's Sophia here from Zen Guidance. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. In this reading, we'll be looking at your 72 hour predictions. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you're drawn to click on this video is when it's meant for you. So it doesn't matter when you click on it, it's the next 72 hours from now. And it is a general message, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So let's get straight to the pile selection. Feel free to pause the video here for a few moments. Just relax. Use your gut instinct to choose the pile. And once you've made your choice, you can go to the description box below where you'll find the corresponding timestamps to your chosen pile. Let's get to it. Hey, group one. Let's see what's in store for you in the next 72 hours. Okay, I've taken a moment to just meditate myself and choose which card I'm drawn to first. And I am drawn to the native spirit first. Walking in beauty. This could be quite literal. You could be taking a nice walk in nature. You may be walking around the time of the sunset or the sunrise. So you may be getting up very early or staying up a little later. Maybe it's feeling warmer where you are temperature wise, but this could also be about what's going on within you and your passion and how you're feeling about yourself. This may be in your physical appearance. You could be spending some time beautifying yourself or working on your body, working out or uh, some self-care rituals, be it skin or a nice long bath or something that's really making you feel that you're in luxury in some way. There's a luxurious vibe that's coming through here. So whether that's buying new clothes or redecorating your home or there's something about kind of beautifying your surrounding space, but then this could also be about your heart chakra. Uh, I'm also feeling like this energy of opening up your heart. So some of you may be going through some healing right now. High priest intend and create. Wow. Definitely doing something creative around you, I feel. There is the supporting energy for that. So if you've been wondering, or should I, where should I be putting my focus and attention in the next three days? If you have the time and the space to be able to do so, and the means, then by all means, the energy is definitely in support of that right now. And it does feel more so a little introverted in that space. Uh, with high priest, you could see the high priestess energy, holding onto a secret or holding yourself back in some way. This could also be sort of introverting yourself, <clears throat> but it certainly feels like you're just going within and you're going deeper within yourself. Hummingbird song, nectar of sweetness to joy it brings, the hummingbird's healing a medicine it sings. So there we go, there's that healing energy coming through. And I'm definitely feeling a lot of grounding energy, even if we just look at this card here. Look how beautiful and green and rich and earthy it is with all of that wood and uh, the greens, the energy of just Mother Earth. So you may feel better if you can spend some time grounding yourself as well, even if you are spending a lot of time doing things, whether they're inside the home or if you can just spend a little bit of time being outdoors, I feel like that's going to really help refresh you. And just connecting you back to nature and back to your soul. So it may even be taking a walk and meditating or spending some time just being just more so within yourself. Page of Cups reversed. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. So we have had a lot of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you may resonate with any of those signs in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Mars, Mercury, North or South Node. But you may have also other people in your life that have those characteristics or, you know, that's the general energy. So I'm de definitely getting a very watery, emotional sense and then a very earthy sense here too. But we'll see what else is coming through. Yeah, small Earth. Okay, beautiful. Then we do have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is overall looking like a pretty nice um, next couple of days, next three days for you. I feel that you're getting in this confident energy where you're feeling on top of things and that you're really working your way towards something. So for some of you, this might be a career that you're moving towards and you feel driven in. It may be towards a romantic connection or partnership here because I'm seeing the two people uh, the traditional male, female, but again, it doesn't have to be, but 
there is this sense of two people coming together and working towards something. So it may be a business partnership or a friendship where you're able to bounce ideas off one another. It feels fairly balanced, but then we do have, the, the only thing that seems to be throwing this energy off is this page of cups reversed. So this is like childlike energy. So for some of you, it may be something to do with a child um, in your life or in someone else's, but this could also be childhood issues, but also it could be an offer that has been revoked, an emotional offer that's been revoked. So someone, either you wanted to offer something to someone and you held back or vice versa, they were like that with you. Okay, yep, yeah, there we go. We have the base chakra, which has jumped out, which is the root, root chakra, which is in direct connection to earth energy. Definitely. This is a sense of feeling insecure, either insecure in yourself, insecure in your health or finances, insecure in your home. And I've just noticed on the bottom of the deck, we have, <clears throat> excuse me, movement choices and decisions. And again, it's uh, root chakra energy with that red border. So, and you can hear my throat is now croaking up. So I'm definitely sensing some throat chakra stuff coming through as well. So there's definitely some blockages coming through. Something that you're feeling is on shaky grounds. But there's something here where it may even be that you're too up in the clouds and maybe not really rooted enough in doing the things that you need to do to feel safe and secure. You're just not feeling at your best. And it's like without your foundations there, it's hard to be able to function in other ways and then other chakras can move into overdrive and this recognition and reward in reverse. So more red energy. So, <clears throat> excuse me, see, there we go. And then we've got throat chakra coming through, suffering in silence. You're not, you're feeling you're unable to express something like you've been feeling pushed down or that you've not been able to stand up for yourself or that you're not receiving the recognition that you deserve you've been putting in all of this hard work and it just doesn't feel like you're receiving anything or as much as you've been putting in in terms of reciprocity it just doesn't feel like it's there but i am sensing you're working towards it and it is coming to you but a lot can change in the blink of an eye that's how quickly things can change and it may feel like you're still stuck but I am seeing a lot of amazing things that are also coming there are lots of blessings in this time of feeling insecure or that things aren't working because you're now having to call upon either your higher source or your faith or whether that's faith in yourself or faith in higher source or religion but just having that inner knowing that I'm putting in the work, I'm sowing the seeds, I'm going to reap the rewards. It just, it may not be coming now, it may not be coming in a couple of months time, but it's coming, it's on its way. And in terms of your faith, it's certainly getting stronger. Again, the self-belief within yourself is getting stronger and you will start to feel more on top of things, getting into the Queen of Wands energy. Now, Queen of Wands does not cower to anybody. She stands up for herself because she's confident in herself. She's confident in her abilities. She's confident in herself as a person. We don't need to be gender specific if you're, in, you're a male and watching this. Again, confident male energy, it doesn't matter. But it's certainly being within that place where the ego is in control as well. It's not in overdrive, so there's not a need for bravado or to shout from the rooftops about your confidence. It's a quiet confidence that it's just that inner knowing. You don't need to say anything, but people can pick up on that vibe. And then last card, we've got passion ignited in reverse. And then look, bottom of the deck, amazing. We've got hope. So this feels very much either where you are now or where you were in the past, feeling that, again, that stifled energy that, You've got all of this passion, you're doing your best to share it and to, to work through any doubts or fears or setbacks that you may have had. And regardless of that, it's still there, it's still burning, the desire is still there. Again, whether this is in terms of career, romance, friendship, doesn't matter. It is all about what you're feeling passionate about right now and it'll always be there. Even if it doesn't, 
if things don't feel secure right now, it's still there. But it just may be, feel, may be feeling like it's been put on hold. But again, I'm sensing that this is temporary because we have hope on the bottom of the deck here. I mean, look at that. So your hope is shining through and your hope is what is going to pull you through. Any of these doubts, worries, fears, setbacks, your hope and faith within yourself is going to pull you through. You are really going to start shining soon. I can see that. It's even if we think about the first card that I was drawn to, the sunshine. You could have Leo within your chart quite strongly. Leo is ruled by the sun. You could also be very drawn to the sun, but this could also mean that when the sun starts to shine where you are, and it's interesting that I'm saying this now because the sun is really starting to shine through the clouds here as I'm recording this. It's been very intermittent and on and off today. I can even feel the sun starting to shine through my windows now. So it's really starting to get, I don't know if you can see, even see it on the camera getting brighter, but I don't know if it's gonna pick that up now, but <laughs> definitely there's something very um, important about the sun here, okay? And maybe the sun may help to heal you in some way. There's something about the sunshine or vitamin D being outdoors is definitely going to help. So I do hope that this resonates for you. And if it did, or if it does in 72 hours time, please feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video today. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care. Hey group two, let's see what's going on in your next 72 hours. Let's see. First card, the spirit fox, a trust, trust? <laughs> Trust your talents in changing times. This is very interesting. I, I'm not sure if some of you are planning or wh whether this is planned or unplanned, but you end up going to, there's some building here because I'm seeing this, it's like a church or a historic building, a big stone archway. And then with this four of, four of wands here as well. It's like some kind of celebration. So some of you may be going to a wedding. So it could be some of you that had planned to go to either an event that was canceled or an event that maybe is now online, like a Zoom event or something, something where it's not in the physical. Interesting. But it does feel like there's still something going ahead here. Oh, and then yeah, with Jude's song, a reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases, you can find a uh, peace within the strangest of places. Hmm. Yeah, so it, you may even just be feeling drawn to something very spiritual right now. You could be drawn to nature these next few days. I see you having a lot of options. So maybe you've got lots of different plans and maybe you're trying to juggle too many plans. So for some of you, it may be that you cancel a plan or that you have to just rearrange something here. It just feels like there's a lot going on and you may just be craving peace at this time. You may be p craving to get into the wild and to get in touch with nature more. And Song of the Wild, yeah, I'm definitely feeling a lot of singing, throat chakra energy. So I don't know if some of you are singers or whether you really find singing cathartic or dancing and you know, just getting really primal and just, sort of letting loose, maybe you like to put on music and just dance or clean or whatever, you know, just moving. I just see you kind of moving around, moving your body, getting a lot of like movement of energy. So some of you may be going for a run or a long walk or something, a nature hike, spending some time with animals, your pets. But the fact that we have the word song in there twice, that does feel like there's going to be something to do with music. Okay, so we have harmony in reverse. Some of you may be missing somebody. You might be in a separation with someone. This could be physical, but it also could be emotional or mental. You're feeling connected to someone in a way. Wow, oh my God, as I said that, look what jumped out. You feel connected to someone in a way, spiritual union, but there is also the disconnection. So there's something that's misaligned. So some of you, you might be, I mean, I'll take that one as well as it jumped out, but oh yeah, and it's the number two, your number today. But yeah, the fact that we have the spiritual unions. 
So spiritually you are connected, but there is certainly either a physical disconnection, so you might be separated by a long, it might be a long distance relationship. So there could be that physical distance. Somebody could be away or traveling or on holiday, or you could be right next to the person, but feel disconnected. So there's something there where you're together, but you're not together. And it doesn't have to be someone romantic either. It could be a family member or a friend. Passion ignited in reverse. It's interesting that came out in another one today. Exact same placement as well. So there's something, there is this passion that is burning within you, but I see you feeling unsure. It's like, again, you've got too many choices. Look, you've got, I mean, you might have two people, you might have two career opportunities, or you may be thinking to move somewhere, but there's definitely something or too many ideas that you have. So you may be feeling a little overwhelmed by all of these ideas, all of these plans and arrangements, and you just are craving to just have peace and quiet and tranquility. So I do feel like it's still gonna be a busy few days, but I am sensing that in some way by getting to a place, whether you are able to get to a place of worship or uh, whether that's somewhere within your home where it's quiet or getting outside in nature, where you somewhere where you can sing or you can be close to birds, birds of song, okay? There's something about being um, or, or around music or even just putting your headphones in or something where you're able to just drift away and you're able to move away from all of these choices and decisions and actions that you know you need to take and that you feel very strongly and passionate about but you're feeling like you're not able to actually move forwards at this point and that's okay you have to go at your own pace but for now to be able to just give you that bit of peace nature and something to do with music and song, I feel is what's gonna get you through the next 72 hours. So I hope that this resonates. I hope it makes sense for you, group two. And please let me know down in the comments below if it does, or if it does come to pass in 72 hours, feel free to come back and let me know. And please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading today. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care. Hey, group three, let's look at your 72 hour predictions. Okay. Elder move beyond ancestral patterns and then ancestors. That's crazy. That's crazy. They're two different, totally different decks, different cards, and they both say ancestors in. So yeah, there's something happening with your ancestors the next 72 hours. So whether that's some connection that you have where you're moving past ancestral patterns, patterns within your family that you've noticed and you are trying to move away from that energy, whether it's your immediate family or whether it's further along along the lines, it's there's something here. I mean, this is a strong connection, massively strong. And look at all of these beautiful brown tones that are coming through. So there may be something to do with the earth and being connected to the earth or there's something there. And again, more sort of that brown energy, but then we do have that fiery red here. We'll get to that card in a moment. Wow, okay, two of cups, queen of swords reversed, eight of wands reversed. <laughs> this is crazy and I love it, but wow. Divine guardian, do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. <laughs> okay, so I'll let you know the signs that I'm seeing. So we've got fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cups, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. So you may resonate with those signs in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North or South Node, but there may be other people involved that resonate with those signs as well. But again, it doesn't have to be, but that's the energy that I'm seeing so far. So here we've got this happy union, this mutual love, attraction, being on the same page. So this very happy couple, so you may be a part of the happy couple. Uh, you may be looking upon the happy couple, only you know in your own personal situation. Okay, and again, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a friendship. Okay, but two people, but then queen of swords. Someone here who is either cutting you off or wants, I'm just getting this energy of them not wanting this situation to be, to be the way that it is. So... 
it's like this energy of slowing something down and moving backwards. So yeah, moving backwards, maybe repeating a pattern. It could be an ancestral familial pattern. So it might be something that you recognized in your family somewhere. Yeah, I mean, oh, this, is, this is supposed to be general, but it's feeling very, very specific. So yeah, please, I'm gonna pull some more cards in a moment, but please start commenting and let me know if this <laughs> is resonating. And you don't have, I have to give too much away. Um, say as little, well, as much or as little as you like. My comments are fully open to you guys, but yeah, this is just what I'm getting. It just feels, I'm just loving this whole reading today. All of the questions, um, the, the piles today have been, you know, very, very interesting and different. So this is why I quite like doing this question because it really leaves things open. So yeah, so there's this energy of something slowing down or someone wanting something to slow down, wanting a relationship or a connection to slow down. Maybe something was moving too fast in their opinion or in your opinion, you could be the one feeling that way about a situation. Or even if you are directly involved, you may have thought that either it was going too fast or that it is now slowed down, but that's the energy it feels the next few days. It, something, I'm almost feeling the top two cards and it's how it's been with the other two readings actually, is that I'm sensing they're more like about advice. They're offering advice here that may help to guide you through these next three days. So whatever trials, tribulations, positive or negative, connecting in some way with elders and ancestors. So this may be someone in your family who is older and wiser, someone that you are very connected with, an older male, older female, but somebody who has a lot of years behind them and they may be great at offering you some advice. They may have been through exactly what you're going through right now. So I am feeling there is something there about connecting with them or spending some time meditating. It might be something that you're very much in interested in. You might, might have looked into your ancestry. Um, but yeah, it might be something that comes up in a topic of conversation over the next couple of days from someone else. You just never know how these things are going to play out exactly. And then we have, yes, rest and rejuvenate, which is reversed here. Discontent and border again reversed. We've got two fours as well on either side. Now two twos, a lot of synchronicities here. So you may start seeing fours in synchronicity, twos, two, two, four, four. Definitely look out for those numbers because, because those are divinely guided numbers and every time you see them, it just means that you are in tune spiritually to the signs of the universe and then more and more will come to you. I feel drawn to this one. And um, we have power, which is in reverse. So there might be something that you've been feeling powerless about. I keep seeing, is there all even numbers I'm noticing as well? Number eight, we've got two, four, and then eight. Oh yes, an eight again, yes. We've got two eights. Yeah, the synchronicities. Crazy, I don't think I've ever seen so many in one reading. So we've got three synchronicities in numbers. So definitely numbers might have something to play, a part to play here over the next three days for you. But something has made you feel like you haven't had the control and I see you not wanting to miss an opportunity of some kind. It's like you want to, break out of this cycle of boredom or there's definitely a restless energy that's coming through. And I do feel that if you've either been waiting for communication or you've been waiting to express something to someone, I do feel like something's going to come to a head or if someone blocked you or you blocked them, I feel like that's going to be released over these next three days. There seems to be some movement here. So even though things seem to have slowed down, that there is some movement that's happening and whether that's manifesting over these next three days and then you're going to receive that information or whether you actually get that information over these next three days, I do feel like there's something shifting here. And I am actually recording this the day before the full moon. So again, this is timeless for you guys. It could be any time you're watching this, but I do feel because I'm recording this around the full moon that you're gonna be receiving that full moon energy, okay? And that's the energy that's coming through. So really starting to shine and things that have been hidden are now being exposed and revealed. When the full moon is shining down on the sky, everything is much more visible, isn't it? You can see everything much more clearly than when it's the new moon and everything's dark. So there's definitely something that is coming to light, I feel for you over these next 72 hours. 
Oh wow, and I've just noticed what was on the bottom of the deck. Triumphant success. Oh, okay. And yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there because I was only going to pull one more card for you anyway. But yeah, so I mean, I'll take these three as they're the ones that are upright. Yeah, so this is you definitely standing your ground and finding that strength. This is receiving information or digging deep into something. Now, this is you emerging from the earth with that newfound information, discovering that new you, discovering who you truly are and finding that power within yourself and gaining back control where you feel you lost it in some way. So yeah, this is you're definitely getting into a really powerful and strong energy. So yeah, interesting. <laughs> please let me know how this resonates for you, group three. And please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy this reading today. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care.